day two of our Runswick trip. I just literally got out of bed. As you see, Joe's still snoring there, as is Louis. The plan for today is that we're going to get up, have some breakfast, move down to the car park at the bottom of Runswick near the bay. Um, I'm going to go kayak fishing. Um, Joe and Louis are going to have a run on the beach and undoubtedly end up in the pub. Sky. Still in the bay. Probably, I don't know, a mile out. It's going to set up the fishing rod now. See if we do any good here. I don't think it's particularly deep at this point. It's probably about 10 15 metres deep. But as you see, there's a few uh, crab pots that the locals have put out. Lovely. No wind whatsoever. An almost flat calm. Tad's on its way in. Let's see how we get on. I use this small rod. I think the rod was about £15 off eBay. And I uh, put a slightly better reel on this. This reel is a one handed reel, so you can just press a button to let the line out. This is all you need, really. It's all I ever used. You see people with big fishing rods, but. Uh, this is easy to store, doesn't get in the way, and easy to manage. This reel's really good, let's see. See what I mean about being single handed? You just press a button, keep your thumb on it so it doesn't go down too quick. And what I do is, when it hits the bottom like that, I just take it up a little bit, and hopefully it won't get stuck in anything. And a little bit of jigging. But the bottom does keep changing. So I have to keep leaving a bit of line out. Bring a bit more in. Hey! hey. We have our first fish. I don't think we're going to live off that for long, are we? Hey? What do you reckon? Hey? He can go back to fight another day. catching that little tiny little codling. I think I'm going to try a little bit further out, a bit deeper water. See if I can find his parents. This boat has a rod rest at the back, which is really good. Just keeps it out of the way and I can just stick the rod in there when I'm not using it. Just have a quick run through some of the gear I use when I go kayaking. Dry suit, not a breathable dry suit. Even though it's a lovely warm day, this water's still cold. The North Sea doesn't really warm up until 
in September time and then it's not significantly different from it is in winter, plenty of few degrees. So when you're out here, if you do get knocked off your kayak, you can soon get cold. And with this being breathable, it's quite comfortable to wear even on a hot day like today. Hat to keep the sun off me, plenty of sun cream, wear some glasses so I can see what's going on. Um, carrying on board here, this is a Tetris 10 kayak. I bought this from Wet n Wild in Hull. The owner helped me out with this. She allowed me to test a number of them before I bought this one. But this one seems to fit my purposes. It wasn't too heavy, so I can put it on the roof rack on top of the lifting roof of the camper van. And it's big enough to accommodate everything I wanted to do. It's got a front hatch underneath that rubber cover there. So you can store all bits and pieces in there. It's got this nice channel down the middle. You can buy various bits and pieces to store your fishing gear in. But it's good as you can see for clipping the GoPro on. I also take a VHF radio with me. Just in case it goes horribly wrong. It's got adjustable footrests either side. And it's not too wide, it's quite narrow, it's not too wide, you can get your legs over the side and stop you getting cramped when you're sat out here for quite some time. On the back, you can see at the back there, as well as the rod rest, there's also a storage area. And I particularly like that because when I go out kayaking, and if it's a really nice day, and the visibility is good, probably on the south coast or in Scotland, you can actually put some scuba diving gear in there. And I can paddle out in this canoe, protect it, get into the water, fit the stab jacket in a small diving bottle, fasten the canoe to me, and drag the canoe around as a surface marker boy and do some scuba diving while I'm out there. The shoes I wear are made by Pime. These are proper canoeing trainers. So this dry suit has rubber socks on, which are very easy to split. But these are just like approach shoes or trainers. Um, and they're specifically designed for canoeing in and they're really good for uh, walking backwards and forwards from where you're going to lose your kayak as well. Paddle, I have a two-piece paddle with a paddle leash on it just in case I drop it over the side. A small fishing rod though, it just doesn't get in the way, it's so easy to use. I do speak to quite a few kayak fishermen over the years and they've suggested that they're okay for using for fishing and quite capable of doing what you need. But the problem we have is moving it round the bow of the boat. But as you can see, with this only being a short kayak, I can reasonably stretch forward and get it round the bow if I need to. But I'll just reel it in. Just reel it in if I need to. Well, here we go. Still on? Yep. Still on. Oh yes. There we go. Look at that baby. Nice size cod. I think that's our tea. Looks like a healthy fish. We'll dispatch him and go to here. clean. Certainly a healthy looking fish. I like to gut them while they're out here, get rid of all the bits and pieces, wash it clean in the sea. And see if we can catch another one to go with it. I've been out here for about two hours now. Two small fish. Well, one very small and one reasonable size, certainly eatable, but we've got our tea for tonight. The fishing's great, I mean it's really exciting, it's something to do, but just being out here, so peaceful, so calming, and so relaxing. I've just had a porpoise go by, but I couldn't get to the camera quick enough to get any footage of it. It just popped about the water, blew its hair, and off it went again. 
really is a lovely place when the weather's right, is the North Sea. There's number three. Another decent sized cod. We're going to eat well tonight. Here he is, all cleaned. Fed the seagulls. I think I'll do us today. Might have just another five or ten minutes. Battery's nearly flat on this, so if I catch anything else, I'll have to show you when I get back ashore. But uh, there's certainly enough there for us to eat tonight. So I'll uh, have another five or ten minutes out here because it's just so nice. A couple of old boys out there, probably locals, took a cobble out, doing a little bit of fishing. You can apply for a license um, up and down the east coast to have um, crab pots. I think you're allowed six. I think it's free to register, you just have to register them. And there's various rules of size of crabs and lobsters you can get. But if you see all these buoys and flags out here, these are local people that have got crab pots down. Bring them out in the morning, with a bit of bait in them, a bit of rotten food or rotten fish. Leave them there for at least 24 hours, then come out again the next tide and uh, see what you've got. Morning. Are you doing any good? <laughs> Just good. Oh, there you go. I'll take a picture. Oh, there you go, look at that. I managed to get two decent cods. Oh, They're in yeah. the back there. Yeah. Yeah. Just with a little rod. Yeah, just with that little yeah. rod. Yeah. Just had a chat with those two fishermen there. And uh, managed to swap one of my cods for a lobster. So it's cod and lobster for tea. It's not better than that, is it?